What's up YouTube, it's Rob from KY Constrictors. And today, I'm back with my first video of my revamped channel. That's right, I made a promise to myself that I was gonna start uploading up a content video once a week and a shorts video once a week, starting first week of October. Today is your content video. Today we're gonna be cutting clutch number six, I believe. Yes, clutch number six. Pairing was an Ultramel to a Pastel Bamboo. And we got a couple pippers already. And definitely, I think we're going to hit good on the Bamboo. So, Bamboo Head Ultramel is coming right up. Okay, guys, like I said... Clutch number six, it's Farah. She's my pastel bamboo and a bread collector named after a BB collector. What's up, Sean? Who is an ultra male? Anyway, we had five eggs and one slug, and we're going to cut these eggs here today. And when I say we, I mean my oldest daughter, Lexi, who was asked not to be on camera, but too bad. Anyway. <laughs> What we're gonna do here, excuse my voice, I'm still getting over COVID, but, but I'm, I'm on the lucky side of things, I guess. As far as symptoms go, I just lost my voice. Uh, I've been kind of sick, you know, not too bad, not as bad as other people have. But anyway, I can then see that we probably got a pastel bamboo, a pastel, het, both het ultra male. Everything's gonna be 100% het ultra male. Anyway, we got one, two, three pippers. I'm gonna show Lexi how to cut an egg. So stay tuned and we'll get right at it. Yeah. All right guys, so I'm gonna show Lexi how to cut an egg, but I'm gonna show her on an egg that's already pipped. All right, so Lexi, what you would do, actually I can show you on one of these, but I can, I'm gonna show you on that one is actually. Okay. And one that's pipped, you can always you know, start, you see how I'm putting the scissors up towards mm -hmm. the top? You want to kind of push towards the top as you cut. See how my scissors are sliding there? Mm -hmm. Look at all them air bubbles coming out. This was my first pepper, and he was a bamboo, he or she. And I'm going to say that's a pastel bamboo. Pastel bamboo, 100% pet All right poking his little head out there. And right here I'm gonna say is another pastel bamboo. See his head stuck? This is why I do this. I'm gonna cut this guy free. I'm gonna give him a chance to go back in. If we can't, we're gonna make a slight cut right here. Make it hold looser so he can go back in, see? So his head was stuck. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut it on around so we can just get a better look at this guy. I think it's a pastel bamboo just because of the way how much he was out or she. And I'm going to say that that is a pastel bamboo. Of course they'll color up and stuff after. It doesn't look like any umbilical was wrapped around, so we're good there. They had done broke the membrane anyway. So we're two for two on bamboos. All right, this one was pipped already too. You wanna give it a whirl? Sure. I would start right here and just barely press up. You see how I'm pressing up? Yeah. Just barely. Just tilt it towards the top and then you can cut. All right, so yeah, I would start right there and go up. Looks like you try to pick several times. Oh yeah, they'll slice them up and just go around. Take your time. I think it's going to be a pretty pastel. And 
down, you can start going back down towards here. Alright, that should be good enough. Put the scissors down and open it up and see what we got. This is the first time that she's ever cut an egg, guys. Most definitely a pastel. Pastel 100% at Ultra Bell. Alright, so now the only two we got left are two that haven't pipped. So I'm gonna take let you take the phone back. Slimy. Watch get a big napkin there until I got them tore. My new reptile room guys under construction. Yeah, right. It is. It's our new lizard room. And the bird. Lizard, bird room. Alright, so I'm gonna take this one here. And when you have an egg that isn't pipped, this is what you do. You want to start at the top. And you want to roll. See how I'm rolling? Mm -hmm. And what that does is that pushes any veins off the top of that egg. For the most part. And I can feel there's a baby in there. These are ready to cut. As you can see, the others pipped. You want to make a crease. And then just make a little nick in the egg. Like that. See the little triangle? See that? Yeah. Alright. Roll the egg in your hand like that. And you're going to insert the scissors. And go up again. See how I'm going up? Mm -hmm. And then just cut. See it? My scissors are sliding with me. And we got another. That's a regular bamboo. Here's the difference, right here. See how that one's much darker? That's a regular bamboo, that's a pastel bamboo. Same with this one, regular bamboo, pastel bamboo. A lot of people say it's real hard to tell the pastel and the bamboo until they get older because they will yellow up like crazy when they reach, you know, Eight, seven, eight hundred grams. Anyway, that's how you cut an egg. It's your turn. Cut the final egg and let's see what you got. So far, I'm loving these odds. Last year, I hit three normals, so or two normals. Funny. Those actually went to my girl Mary Python. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick the egg up. Set it over here and do as I say. You want to pinch the top. Make your crease where the line is. You can aim for the line. That's the top of the egg, actually. And then you want to grab it and just roll it. No, nope. you ain't got to do it real hard. Just, just roll it. This is a learning lesson for anybody who wants to learn how to cut eggs. So, I'll title this video "Learning How to Cut Eggs." This is her first time, so be be patient with her. All right, so you got your crease. Now pick up your scissors and make a little nick. Something, you know that ball python's head's not gonna be right here. Yeah. So you're safe. Just make a little nick. I would turn my scissors the other way. Always have them facing up. That's why you have the curved scissors. Make your little nick. Perfect. Turn it the other way. You want to take your curve and go like that. Get a zoom in shot here. All right, make sure you push up. There you go. See how the scissors, guys? You can see them pushing up on the egg. Just doing it perfect. Now just go around your egg. Go back towards the middle. And it's good enough. Now you got a flap. And I think you got another bamboo. Oh, no. That is phenomenal oh. odds. Hello. Phenomenal odds on this clutch. Five eggs, and I hit four bamboos and a pastel. Not one normal, guys. I needed that. 
Now I just need this to be a female heavy clutch. I gotta sell some females. Everybody wants females. And I don't blame them. I want females too. I want one male. I'll take one male because my buddy Sean, old Troy City Reptiles, he's wanting a male. And as you can see right here is why I cut eggs. See this? We got an umbilical rack. So we're going to take this baby out. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Here, take the phone. I got to do some emergency work here. This right here is why I cut eggs. Otherwise, this baby would have died. So. What's wrong with it? Oh, no, never mind. Huh. All right. This is a perfect example right here. See, this is the membrane. I didn't get a good look at it. We're good. We're okay. So, no emergency video here. I seen the membrane. It made it look like there was an umbilical wrapped right here. And I thought this was the snake body. But actually, it's tail. It's going there. So, we're okay. And that is another pastel bamboo. Oh, get back in there. This one right here is trying to get out. And it, honestly, I believe it's ready. I don't see a yoke in there with that one. Anyway, phenomenal baby. Phenomenal clutch. Bamboo is where it's at, guys, I'm telling you. I want several females. That way I can work Desert Ghost into it. I can work calico. If you've never seen a bamboo calico, oh my God. Trust me. I got the perfect male that I want to put to a, a, a female. And I may do it next year because I got my ultra male stuff going. And that's my whole reason for having her. I may put my pastel orange dream uh, sugar to her next year. And try to make some orange dream bamboo calico. Let me tell you, and possible super fast tail. So you can tell I love this shit. I get so excited. And there you have it. Let's look at these snakes one more time. Phenomenal odds. Phenomenal. We got a pastel bamboo. Pastel bamboo. Pastel bamboo. And another pastel bamboo. All 100% at Ultra Mill. I'm going to say this right now. I want to keep another female back just for myself. Everything else will be available. So I can go ahead and tell you the pastel will be available regardless, male or female. Um, the bamboo will be available, male or female. But one of these three, if it's female, I'm keeping it. If the other two are female, they're for sale. That's how it is. If they're all male, they're all for sale. So hit me up if you're interested. It's an awesome project to get into. If you've never seen an ultra male bamboo, trust me, go check it out. Anyways, this is this is it right here, guys. The clutch, clutch number six. I can't wait to see these guys crawl out of the eggs so I can sex them and yeah. Anyways, I do want to give a little shout out. There is a uh, little girl, 15 years old, her name's Haley. And it's the daughter of J.H. Python's Jason. That's actually his stepdaughter, I believe. Anyway, the entire family was hit by a driver that fell asleep at the wheel. And they all got hurt pretty bad, but she got hurt the worst. 15 years old, and she's been in a coma for about three weeks now. And she's starting to show signs, you know, her eyes opened up. I think she can grip their hand. I was watching his live on Instagram. Uh, if you want to go really get filled in on what really happened to, to her, go and uh, watch his Instagram live videos, JH Pythons. Anyways, they're having a fundraiser for her on uh, BMJ Reptiles. Um, go check him out. Chino, he's awesome. Anyways, it'll be held on his YouTube channel, Mary Python and Lizard Mom and Beyond Carissa. They're 
gathering, you know, all the details, all the donations, and they're gonna be selling spots, just like the Iron Dog, you know, Cancer Sucks Rapper. That's what they're gonna do for her. So go get y'all spots. If you're interested, donate the animal. Get a hold of Mary or Carissa, and let's, let's get this little girl back to where she needs to be, you know, help. Even if you can't help with money, share these posts. Say prayers through this little girl because I got a I got a 16 year old little girl and I don't know what I would do if she was in the hospital fighting for her life. You know I, I could only imagine. So I think there's plenty of you all out there that can relate to that. Anyways, clutch number six is a banger. I love it and I love you all. You all make sure you be good or be good at it.